Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Cry Fear. In the last episode, I did some shit wherein I attempted to get through this fucking door and I made it overly complicated because I was supposed to go to this door, I think. Nope, I wasn't. In that case, I was wrong and I was fucking stub my toe again. And I was, in fact, meant to go to this door all the way over here. The sign that says up is probably a little hint for that. Now, please let me through. Oh, there we go. See? Warning, low battery. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, shit. I just remembered. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is not random. That is a scripted event. <laughs> Get ready, fucker. <laughs> you fucker. Oh, it's still mostly there. All right. And yep, phone's out. Still can't drop it for some reason. So, if you're coming through here, and you go... Oop, it's this way, right? Oh, it's a bedman. Gotta get to cover. the hell is happening there we go all right I'm gonna double I'm gonna backtrack this way because I think that there was Glock ammo I missed and then we will be on our way with the forward quest right fuck Good thing I'm collecting this extra Glock ammo, guys. So, by now, Halloween is definitely over. For you guys, at least. Oh, he's back! I just spent all that time killing you, you asshole. Oh, boy. Okay. Saving that progress. Still can't drop the phone, huh? One moment while I check the walkthrough. So yeah, uh, they don't say what I should drop, so I guess I'm dropping this. Rip. So yeah, um, happy fucking day. Oh, that's cool. They give you custom animation for going down a ladder that's on the back side of something. Uh, yeah, these flares are the only source of light in the upcoming segment. Since my phone's battery is dead. Why don't we just take a look and see how dark the level is? Wow. That's crap. So... Atmospheric, to say the least. My favorite segments. Uh, people disagree about what the, the what peak Silent Hill darkness is, because obviously the fog is iconic. Um, but there's also been like rain. Do I just right click again? Yeah. There's also been like rain. Stuff like that. Uh, my favorite Silent Hill darkness is. Oh, man, this is fucking dark. My favorite Silent Hill Darkness is, in fact, just night. I wonder 
why there's this little uh, trench here on the side. Weird. Well, anyway. So, an enemy with a name that is downright tacky is coming up. <laughs> that was, uh, that was my fault, honestly. We can probably just run this blind, right? So that enemy that I described is not the train. It's something different. Wait, no. Oh, I've already got knocked and lost. Fine, I'll turn on a fucking flare. That's where I came from. So as you can see, it is possible to find your way in darkness without use of much uh much light i just got turned around too quick so yeah going f too far down one of those hallways will trigger the train to attack you such as a train can attack a human being not sure how that works but whatever But no, a, uh, a different enemy is coming up. And an enemy that I kind of like, but it's just so on the nose. It's also made with reused assets. Hmm. Okay. Should see one any moment now. Any moment now. Man, those banging noises are really scary. Oh. <laughs> Very good, Simon. Use your Kinesis powers. I had the urge to play Bioshock recently. Hey, you can see that Simon reaches for two rungs above uh, with his left hand, but with only one for his right hand. That might also be another reason, uh, another way to imply that he is left dominant. And as someone who is, I guess, left dominant, I like that. Okay, back up to flares. Three flares. So, as you see, it's a stock video game flare, not flare, uh, fan vent puzzle. How to unlock secret items. Uh, it's really obnoxious if I remember correctly. You have to like beat the game on hard mode and like shit. This game's not fair or fun on easy mode. I mean, I guess it's fun. It's not really meant to be like a wacky woohoo fun time. Cause like it's a horror game. Oh god. Okay, single hand this. Pick up the Glock ammo. It's too hot to pick up. Shit. Well, I guess I'll just keep going this way. Where nothing at all will ever attack me, and it'll be a land of happiness and rainbows. They give you enough flares, though, so it's not too, too big a deal. So, you know. Hey... Am I stuck? I was stuck there for a second. Spooky. Okay. Yep. You can hear me getting texted. Excuse me. 
unprofessional. There we go. Are you going to get some booze coming up? Yep, we are. This is a Citalopram. Yep. That's the name of the enemy. In a game about suicide and depression, an enemy is literally the name of a depression medication. One that we know has been prescribed to the uh, main character, in fact. Just turned on caps lock. I guess I'm too full to pick those up. Wow. Here, what if I... Okay. So you go forward. And you go left. Right. This is dumb. Oh, see, I can find my way to some extent. Oh, God, it just... Well, okay, never mind. I guess I'll just go up the ladder. Oh. <laughs> well, that made this whole shebang kind of pointless. Oh, and there's even another one. And I'm still full on flares. I can't even pick that shit up. Bro, what the hell? I don't know why that cubby hole's there. Aw. Dead cat. So yeah, um, for whatever reason, the developers of this game don't like cats. So they like to, like, if, if something has to be killed off, they will pick a cat. Much like, um, the, author's, uh, the author of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Hirohiko Araki, um, has a similar distaste of dogs. Hopefully that'll reach the bottom before I do. Allowing me to arrive in light, not darkness. It'll also give me a second to get my bearings. Hey, all according to plan. See, the fact that the enemy is called Citalopram, which is also the only depression medication mentioned in-game, it's just kind of, like, tacky, you know? And I know why they do it, but, like, it's just kind of meh. You know, it's almost like a gimme. Like, oh, uh, do you get it? It's about depression. That's why this enemy is named after medication for depression. Am I still crouched? I am, I think. Uh, here. Kind of wish there were room for more saves. I've learned that I actually do have to cycle my saves pretty, uh, Pretty well, just in the off chance that I run into some shenanigans with OBS. Okay. So there's this fantastic moment in uh, Silent Hill 2 wherein your flashlight runs out of battery. And if you don't, um... Fuck. Anyway, your flashlight runs out of battery, and if you don't, um... Refill it... Well, refill it, you know, put in a new battery. Uh, you'll just have to play the rest of the game without a fucking flashlight. And Silent Hill's dark. Okay, so those open. Uh, yep. Oh yeah, I don't know if I ever finished my, uh, my train of thought from earlier. So in my mind, the scariest way to play a Silent Hill, like the scariest form of darkness in a Silent Hill game, is uh, the night. 
This is just an empty fucking cave. <laughs> kind of silly. Oop. All right. There's a there's a moment in a uh, Silent Hill 2 where the sun goes down and you get the fog and night and it's just it's it's the most terrifying game uh, thing in the whole game. Silent Hill 2 isn't really that scary to be honest. It is a like horror game, but it's Silent Hill was always much more built on the atmosphere. Right. Boop. Oh, that's cool. It actually goes through the bars. Interesting. I've always wanted to get a package of flares. Maybe I should see about that on Amazon. Because I've never actually used a flare. Although I've had a lot of recourse and reason to. I've been talking with my wife. She's had this idea. We, we've been talking about this idea between the two of us to cosplay uh, a bunch of survival horror characters for uh, October. Likely next year, since as you're seeing this, this is now after October. Um, another little monster closet. Hey, uh, little oubliette uh, here, honestly. Actually, weren't oubliettes made to not have a little, uh, even a sun hole? Anywho. Um, in her case, we've been talking about having her cosplay specific survival hill, no, survival horror girl characters. Go, 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 Simon. Seriously, how do these trains know when I'm coming? D like, I would honestly lodge a complaint at this stage of the game. Another nothing hallway. Hmm. I like that they put the train there to imply to you that you uh, won't get hit by a train because there is one there. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. That's a horrible thing to say to someone suicidal who you just shot. You probably would have done it anyway. And that appears to be a suicider enemy. Uh, I think it might be, yeah. Can I get a save point, fam? What would everyone's save point be in the real world? So you can see a partial reuse of assets here. Uh, asset reuse is just a, a, a game development term wherein um, you make the asset like this garbage can. This is an asset. And you put it everywhere, you know? And obviously, like, you don't want to use, you don't want to have an asset that doesn't get any use, you know, which is why usually unique enemies are very rare. Um, and it's why you see even bosses get reused. Where am I going, by the way? Found enemy, so I'm going the right way. But I thought I was going the wrong way. Oh. I'll come back for that. God, the enemy just running at you shooting a gun is kind of a little totally deaf, don't you think? Um, wow. One moment, everyone, while I figure out what to drop so I can pick up that fucking thing. Well, this is a little embarrassing, but I've walked my dumb ass back this way. I was trying to subvert the game and be a smart, clever little fellow. Uh, however, it didn't work out. For you see... I was supposed to go this way. Just trying to see if I can cram my fat ass back here. Uh, 
You can see that it even signposts it with little arrows that say down. Hey, look at this dumb shit. He must have locked it. Why is he doing this? There's a Kena battery lying on the ground. I'd better take it. So, hey, you gotta fucking get more fucking fuses. God. Like, bro. Okay, let me drop this boy. A phone battery. So now I don't need these. Oh, and I have to drop all of them. Whoops. Oh, I dropped them. Oh, cool. The Ronald Street key. Uh, I'll... Well, it's all there. I may as well save over. Okay. I'm always so worried about dropping guns, but I need empty spaces in my inventory. Was that a glitch, or was that something intentional? I love how they stuff that there, but also it's barred off anyway. Oh, there's an enemy, right. Excuse me, sir. I'll just be with you in just a mo. Ba boom, blam, blam, blue, blowy. So, one of the greatest enemy designs in this entire game is coming up. Why don't I just run past them, actually? In fact, why don't I load that game? What? The fuck is happening? It's not responding. I don't. Oh. Game crashed. <laughs>